guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Hendon. Before the game got underway we paid tribute to those who made the ultimate sacrifice and lost their lives in past wars. The tribute was led by our very own Jeremy Fox and ladies manager Fran Derbyshire. Accompanied by the readings we also had veterans who came in and played a massive part within the tribute. After the 2 minute silence Borough was the team who got the half underway. With it being our first game back at home in a while, Gosport definitely treated the fans to early action because on the 10th minute Barca in the left hand channel did really well to pick out Jake Scrimshaw. Shielding the ball, Scrimshaw was soon to be brought down by Light and as a result Borough were given a penalty. Up stood Rory Williams but the Gosport skipper couldn't convert the penalty with the shot hit in the post. Following this effort it was the man who won the penalty to have a crack at goal. Diaz finding Scrimshaw at the far post allowed for the attacker to hit a first time volley at goal forcing a good save from their keeper. Chances started to be rejuvenated with the next effort coming from Bradley Tarbuck. A cross initially meant for Wooden trickled its way onto Tarbuck on the edge of the box and taking a shot the midfielder blazed one over the Hendon bar. Even with all the Gospel's chances it was the visitors to open the scoring. Like something carried out numerous times on the training ground, a free kick reached Adenola yards out from goal. The defender then smashed the ball past Stuart in Hendon's first effort of the match to open the scoring. On the 34th minute Stuart came out to collect the ball but standing just outside of the box and saw the referee blow up for handball and Stuart went into the rest book. A free kick from Perry was smashed over the crossbar causing no threat only to a fan's beer who was unfortunately knocked over from the poor effort. But a bit of brilliance from Alex Barca levelled the score. A ball fed down the pitch ended with a ball being fed to Wooden who flipped the ball back to Alex Barca in a deadly area. Despite working with a tough angle, the striker dished the shot into the bottom corner to level the score. It got even better for Gosport moments later with Hendon being sent down to 10 men. Semakula brought down Hollins in a dangerous tackle and the referee was quickly to pluck out his red card and send the forward to the touchlines, reducing Hendon to 10 men just before half time and soon the half finished with Gosport drawing 1-1 with Hendon. Shortly after the second half kicked off Hollins gave us a lead for the first time in the game. As per usual it came from another screamer from Danny Hollins. Around 20 yards out from goal the midfielder rocketed the ball into the top corner to give us a lead. Tarbuck nearly made it three moments later. On the edge of the box, the midfielder took a shot towards goal, making the keeper but the ball rolled just wide thanks to an additional touch from a Hendon defender. Keeper Kirby was needed to deny Alex Barca from netting his second. Another really good cross found Alex Barca in the centre of the box and making a good connection with the ball it forced Kirby into making a brilliant save. Continuing the dominance, Gosport finished the game with two final efforts. The first coming from Scrimshaw lashing a shot against the goal deck, forcing another save from the Hendon keeper. And straight after, Wooden tried to ease luck and forced Kirby to get down low to deny the third goal. A moments after, the final whistle followed and the half concluded Gosport 2, Hendon 1. A fantastic way to return back to the AEI Stadium against a very good Hendon side. Up next we travel to Chesham and arguably our biggest challenge yet, but final words from me, up the borough.